This is my unboxing of the DJI Mavic Pro, which I got today. I'm looking forward to getting this for a long time. <clears throat> Came in a pre story box. I just need to figure out where the opening is. That looks like a... This side up. So that's the top. So I guess it just folds open. So I need to cut along here then. Damaged. I wonder what that means. It's a tightly packed box. There's like three smaller boxes inside of it. It's the heavy box. This is probably the Mavic. Oh, void if damaged. Okay. This is the actual Mavic. No. No, 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 no. This is the Mavic. <clears throat> Part of the Fly More combo, which I bought. Got to put that tape there. There it is. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Colors aren't attached by default. There's a the controller. Very solid. That feels very, very solid. Very nice. It's the controller. Oh. Here's the the directions. And the plug for charging. Just back. I also have the fly more combo. Now some people online say that um, it's actually a not a good deal to get the fly more combo because it's actually cheaper just to uh, buy the components yourself. Um, at places where you can get some of the pieces cheaper. Um, here's the battery charging hub. Now the problem with this one is that um, you only charge one device at a time. There's some online solutions for um, devices that can charge multiple batteries at once. But this one, even though you can plug in multiple batteries, it charges one after another. So if you plug in four batteries, you still have to wait four times as long. It's equivalent to just plugging one battery at a time, which means you're kind of stuck still. Here's the car charger. And here's the second battery. That's your both batteries. Oh, wait a second. Doesn't this thing have a battery in it already? I didn't realize that. I get two additional batteries. So that means I have three batteries. Cool, I didn't know that. It's a rubber lens cover or to protect the this piece. Um, this uh, this is actually a lens cover. Um, most people suggest just flying with this initially until you get used to the drone because you don't want to crash it. Um, if you crash it, you can break the gimbal as opposed to just scratching this up and having to replace just this piece of plastic. The only problem is when you fly with this, you can get sun flare and reflection off of it. But that being said, I'm going to be flying with this with the gimbal, uh, with this uh, uh, protector piece on it. But not yet. Let's see if it's over on this side. Wow. Okay, so that's the 
folds out like that. Folds up like this. Oh, interesting. These repellers are on, which is not the other ones. Okay. And take out that battery. So just confirm, I got three batteries. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Okay, and an extra uh, power battery, uh, battery to power bank adapter. I believe this means that you can use your battery as a USB um, lithium ion battery, and those portable uh, battery uh, chargers like this. You can charge devices on the go. Um, and some extra repellers. And this part. Void if broken. It says spare part number 30. No, this is a shoulder bag. Cool. The whole Mavic and all the pieces fit in this. Give you an idea how compact this thing is when you bring it with you. Nice. Feels very sturdy. And that's how small apparently the, the Mavic is when it's folded up. Fits right in there. Okay, go ahead. A snug fit, but perfect. It's awesome because you can have the camera facing out instead of facing the bottom. It's probably smarter in case you crack it. In case you drop the bag really bad, really hard. It is kind of snug, which I guess is good. There's the strap. Okay, I'm gonna go plug this in. Let this thing charge up fully. Get all the batteries charged up as well. Get to open it up to push the buttons on the side. To... Okay. Just snap it out. Nice. Okay, it's a battery charging hub. <clears throat> Manual. There's a better way to open this. It's meant to be a jigsaw puzzle. Nope. Perfect size, so you just pop out the top. Okay. So that's it. Plug it into this. Well, that just charges one. It's the car charger. Oh, here's the cable cord. Okay, this is a single charger. I'm going to use a single charger at first. And, uh, I shall probably use both. The cable is very short, so you don't have that much room to, to use here. Different adapters for, uh, plugging in. Um, when this thing opens up in the bottom. Let's see, how do I... You can either plug in, um... Get this plug here on the side, and you can use different adapters for like uh, like that's a um, that's an Apple 
connection. This appears to be um, LG connection, perhaps, and this is a typical micro SD um, Android connection. So I'll be using this with my Android device. So I'm going to go plug that in and get these things charged. Get, this, get these things charging. Green light means it's charging. No LED indicators on here, but you can also charge two USB devices at the same time. Um, prices with the how many amps. Oh, two volts, two amps total. So basically, it's shared two amps here. So if you plug in one device, you can go up to two amps. Plug in both, you can both go up to well, whatever's needed. So that's that's pretty good. So you plug in the charger too. I mean the controller too, it has its own battery built in. To charge the, the controller, it basically has a micro, it doesn't look like a micro uh, a USB port, but it is. And so you basically use the supplied USB to micro USB charger, plug it into one of the uh, USB plugs provided in the adapter, and you can charge both the battery and the controller at the same time. Also, the um, underneath the plate here was are the extra propellers, two propellers each. Oh, one, two. Those are the propellers that I'm missing on the Mavic, so they were in the box. Okay, the first battery uh, finished charging using the one charger, the direct charger. I'm going to use a multi-charger on the second bar, uh, battery. By the way, the battery was very hard to get out. It was like suction. Um, it's like I was working against suction just to get it out. Let's see if this one's also like that. This is my third battery. It's going to open up. It just does not want to come out. It's almost like it's taped or glued in there, but it does come out. It just... Intelligent battery and also I'm gonna be flying it and scared of heights. <laughs> See that eventually comes out. Man, that's that's a pain. Instruction, there's uh, battery number three. And as you can see when I plug both of them in. Only one of them is charging at a time. This one's charging, and when this is finished, this will start charging. But it's still useful because um, you just leave them all plugged in at night, and in the morning they'll all be charged up. But I'll probably be getting one of the online solutions um, that I saw on one of the DJI forms to uh, get something that charges all at once. Although I need to make sure that what how many amps it produces, because uh, if it splits it four ways, it's charging all the batteries one fourth the speed, unless it's using a higher amperage, which means it has to have a different uh, source. So I have this one, and this is getting a little bit warm. But uh, the controller is pretty much charged up. It's ninety-eight percent, so should be ready to fly soon. Well, I have uh, um, two and a half batteries charged. This one's still charging. Um, let me plug this in. I've I changed out this plug with uh, Android version of it. It's cable. Uh, the problem is this thing doesn't fit with the cases on, so I need to take the case off. I end up having to take the case off this thing so much because it doesn't seem to be able to fit in anything. This is a Samsung Galaxy S5. It, it's interesting here, it actually has, uh, this thing slides back and forth and it's like a little clip that it, it, it 
keeps the cable in place. Um, it's basic, but it seems to do a job. I can get it plugged in. Okay, I pushed, I popped this out. I'm gonna try plugging it like this and then pop it back in and see if that makes a difference. Okay, now pop this back in. There, okay, seems to be good. Now this side. And we are ready to roll. On. Take the sticker off of this. One thing I forgot to do uh, was I'm going to fly with the the protective housing on, but I do need to take this piece off here behind the gimbal. That's what holds the holds the gimbal stable. If that's still in place, um, this thing will not be able to do anti-vibrations and all the vibrations from the drone will go straight into the camera. Put this back on. There. See now the gimbal works inside the camera. Just make sure to remove this. And also turn this on. Also, can make sure the flight mode is is not in sport mode, which it is. Take it off of sport mode. Push once and push it and hold. Connecting. Push. Push and hold. Yep. Okay. So it interfaced. I'm going to turn it off because I don't want to fly inside. I'm just going to just test. Okay. There, turn it off. And turn this off too. Push and hold. Try again. Push and push and hold. There it is. Okay. You have to do it just right, otherwise it doesn't work. I'm going to take this outside. One thing also to remember is uh, somewhere on your drone you need to put your uh, FAA uh, certification number. I put mine right inside the battery cover. I basically just printed off the piece of certificate that says uh, my name and the, my certificate number. 